Hey yo, man, this the podcast with Soul. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yeah. Yes, it is. Uh. Yes. Yo, what's up? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. What is it, man? Stigmatism in my soul. Okay. Yeah, Got yeah, it. yeah, yeah. Do anything. Yeah, yeah. Anything. anything. Yeah. Put sure? your mind to it. Put your mind to it. Do anything. Do anything. But what if it's hard, though, man? If it's hard, it's going to be hard. If it's easy, it's gonna be easy. It's all about what you think. I said a stigmatism in my hey, soul. Yo, man, this the podcast with soul. Nigga got that motherfucking fed look. Yo, man, we here, man. December the second, twenty twenty one, twelve oh one noon. First show for the month of December. Come on in, Quadrex, Pink Man, Lucky Marino. First one's in the house. Hit that like button, y'all. When you come in, wipe your feet at the door, scratch your back with your ruler, hit the like button, and sit down and get involved in the live chat, man. We here. Let's give a look at the, uh, let's see what the markets are doing. They were rallying before. Dow Futures are up 608. S&P 500 futures are up 60, 56. NASDAQ futures are up 72. And the small caps are up 29, man. So the market is rallying. I know there's been a lot of volatility in the market the last few days. Yo, Ant, what up? Um, but, you know, you can make money when there's volatility. Shout out to everybody, man. Make sure you subscribe to my Patreon channel. I'm going to put that link right here. And I'm going to pin that joint up there in the top of the live chat. Make sure you subscribe. Yo, Kyle, what up, man? I see you, man. I see you. Um, I wanted to go live yesterday, man. I started to come back. I got, I, I, I was able, I would have been able to go like about 12, 19, 12, 18. I was late running and I said, nah, we're not going to do that. You know, you know me. I'm, uh. I'm 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 12 noon on the dot, man. If I don't rock off at 12 noon, then you know my energy don't be right. You know the the uh, my my uh, my vibration and everything don't be right. My rhythm. What else we got to talk about today? Um, shout out to everybody that bought. Um, shout out to Letitia, man. She bought a shirt from me. I'm going to be delivering that, that to her today by Teen Rivers, man. He bought a Scully. Somebody else bought something. I shipped that. Yes. Yeah, my man Paul from California, man. Redlands, California. Shout out to him. He bought two shirts. Sent, sent them out yesterday. I got to go check on the Scullys, y'all. I'm, the, the Scullys are coming. Corey, what up, man? Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. The Scullys are coming. The Scullies are coming, man. Just, just sit tight. Uh, I'm gonna actually check on, uh, check on them today. Batine, what up, man? I see you. And uh, as soon as they get in, man, I'm gonna get them out. I'm thinking about doing a meet and greet here too, man. One Saturday, I'm gonna do a meet and greet somewhere here in North Jersey, and um, I'm gonna come down. You guys could come down. I'm gonna have my books. I probably have some hats and shirts and. You know, you could support, and then, you know, we could just meet and greet and kick it, you know, talk to each other and see what's going on. My mother used to always tell me that an unbusy mind was the devil's play shop.
that an unbusy mind is the devil's play shop and try to always have something that you're doing, something that you working on, something that you, some kind of destination now. Yeah. I do unwind. I do allow my mind to be unbusy. And I do want to go into the devil's play shop sometimes. You know, I I, I want to get involved in stuff um, for pleasure. I want to get involved in stuff to just kill time or just jerk off my time or just mess around. And there's nothing wrong with that. What I'm speaking of is like spending extended periods just being idle, not having nothing to do, just being unbusy, like an entire like an entire day, provided that it's not planned, right? Um, you know, stay busy. You know, I try to stay busy. I I, I really don't, you know. This was more so when I was a younger man in my 20s, especially in my teens. You know, we didn't have nothing to do. We would go break windows. We would just do mischief because we weren't busy, you know. And um, you got to have something to do. You got to have something to do. Like, I need to have something to do. If I have an agenda, then I don't have to worry about getting into nothing that I shouldn't be getting into. You know, an unbusy mind is the devil's play shop, man. You know, you sitting around, ain't nothing happening, you're not doing nothing. And then next thing you know, you involved in something that you really shouldn't be involved in. Hit that like button when you come in, y'all. Please, thank you. Got 18 people in the chat, only nine likes. Let's get that up. Let's get the 15 likes. Let's put it up there. You know, stop sitting around doing nothing. You know, when you're sitting around doing nothing, now you're unbusy. Now you got, you giving those negative thoughts room and airplay to come in and start speaking to you. You giving those negative uh, visions, chances to come in and plant seeds, right? And, you know, you just start thinking the worst about every situation because you ain't got nothing to do. You're just sitting around doing nothing. You know, when you're busy and you got an agenda and you, you focused on something, your mind ain't got time to be focused on the past, focus on that went wrong or well, they did me wrong because I'm busy taking care of this business right here in front of me. You understand? You know. You got to stay you got to stay moving, man. You got to stay moving. You got to stay locked into whatever you're doing. If you locked into whatever you're doing, you ain't thinking about, oh, this here ain't working out for me. Ah, man, this ain't working out. Ah, this, you know, should I quit? Should I give up? This is, this ain't really, nah, you not thinking like that because you, you in motion. You in motion. You know, and you got to give time, time, man, you know, Results don't happen overnight. Things take time to work out, man. Things take time to develop. You got to give it, you got to give yourself a chance. You know, real entrepreneurs, man, cultivate relationships, man. 
Real entrepreneurs cultivate relationships. Kadir, man, thank you for that $5 British pound. I appreciate you, man. Shout out to you, Kadir. Thank you for that, man. Missed a few podcasts with Soul Sessions. Mr. Gummy, salute, keep, salute to you. Keep uplifting people, man. Thank you, man. You know. Get up, get up, get up and do something, man. Get up and and get on the case. Get up and work on your life. Get up, get up and make that stuff happen, man. You know? You sitting around doing nothing, man. You opening yourself up to 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 just uh, you know just doing nothing, man. Feeling bad that that ain't that ain't what this thing is about, man. You know, maybe you're not gonna be the greatest entrepreneur by team, man. Thank you for that super chat, man. Appreciate you. You know, maybe you're not gonna go out here and light the world on fire and and uh, but, you know, you light yourself on fire, man. You know, staying active. Just work on, work on, work on your work on, man. Work on your plan. Work on your thing. Whatever that thing may be. It don't got to be what I'm working on. It don't got to be what she working on. It don't got to be what he working on. You work on and do your thing, man. Um, you know, when you, when you, um, when you got things to do, man, when you, when, when you active, you know, you're exerting your will. I always tell you all the time, impose your will on life. Don't let life impose its will on you because it will. And if you don't program yourself, somebody else will, you will be programmed. Who will be your programmer? You know, you sitting around, you ain't doing nothing, you allowing, you watching the news, you listening to this person, you listening to that person, you allowing yourself to receive all of this negative stimuli, all these negative messages, and and that 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 can impact your life, man. It'll impact your hour. Once it impacts your hour, it'll impact your morning. Once it impacts your morning, it has the potential to impact your afternoon. Once it impacted both your morning and your afternoon, it has a great potential to impact your night, and then you it then impacted your day. Now you out the back door slow. Kadir, thank you for that, man. Shout out to you for that super chat. Appreciate you. You know, I don't even I don't even watch the news, man. Now it's something else, right? Now it's something else. Now it's South Africa, this thing, right? It's never going to stop. And I understand that. So I don't even play that. I don't even give that no airplay at all. Because I know that all that is intended to do is to stimulate me mentally in a certain frame of mind, which ignites, stimulate me negatively in my frame of mind, ignite my negative emotions of insecurity and fear. And now I'm stuck like Chuck. Now I'm not even living my own life. I'm living a, a life somebody is uh, driving me to live, right? An unbusy mind is the devil's play shop. I don't got no time for that. I'll take my chances with me. I'll bet on me. I done came this far. I'll be all right. I'll bet on me. I'll take my chances. Me and Lil Sean will take our chances with what we know and what's working for us. We eating regularly, eating good, eating fruits. We eating vegetables. We eating meat. We getting to proper sleep. We exercising. 
and we staying busy. Don't let nobody get in your dome, man. An unbusy mind is a devil's play shop. You let somebody rent space in your head for free. You letting people rent space in your head for free. You letting news media rent space in your head for free. You ain't even living your own life no more. You didn't voluntarily and willingly gave up your right to decide. Get him, Sean. Get him, Sean. I said astigmatism in my soul. You forfeited your right to decide for you what you want to do with your life. Everybody going to die. Everybody that we see today, whoever we saw yesterday, whoever we see tomorrow, in 127 years, they won't be here. They won't be here. So we all equal in terms of how we want to fulfill our brief encounter here in this human form. I'm going to let another human. He going to die too. What? 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 I'm going to let another human dictate my stay here. Nah. 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 Unbusy mind is the devil's play shop. Get up. Get up. Get up and tell the coach to put you back in the game. You tired of sitting on the bench watching the game. And if he won't put you back in the game, you check yourself back into the game. I'm coming in. Tell somebody to sit down. You you sit down. I'm coming in. And get busy in your life. Stop sitting around doing nothing, man. Allowing yourself to be influenced by various media outlets. I talk about that all the time and the principle of cause and effect, the principle of gender in the Kabbalion. Right? You got the feminine principle and you got the masculine principle. Right? And everybody has both. Me, I'm a man. I have a feminine principle and I have a masculine principle. This is universal law, right? But at the end of the day, with me having done, I damn near copied the whole Kabbalion when I was in the joint. I copied, I want to say, at least 40% of it, maybe half, all of the Profound points that were profound to me. I highlighted them and I wrote them down. And I'm a masculine man right off the top. I'm a man amongst men. I don't get off into all of these different labels and categories. They put men in. This is the latest thing. This is another thing. An unbusy mind is a devil's play shop. Oh, you a beta. You a simp. You a sigma. You a alpha. Fuck out of here with that stupid ass shit. The Kabbalion says that every living organism has a feminine principle and a masculine principle. The feminine principle in everybody, as as aggressive as I am and as masculine as I am, right? And as bold as I am and as aggressive as I am and as arrogant as I am and as conceited as I am, it, when I get off my game, if I let my guard down, my feminine principle can take over Sean G, right? And it talks about in the Kabbalah that the feminine allows itself to be, it allows itself to be dictated upon. It's it it's interested in receiving stimuli. It's 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 uh it's subjective, it's passive. It's involuntary, right? The feminine principle receives stimuli and receives impressions on its mind and then moves based on that. That's the feminine principle. 
and I can go there too when I'm off my game, right? And then the flip side of that coin, there's the masculine principle. And get the Kabbalion and read it. You ain't got to believe me, but I read it already. I don't care if you ain't read it. The masculine principle is objective. It's voluntary. It's not passive. It's assertive. It's aggressive, right? It's, it's concerned with giving out impressions. It's, it's, it's concerned with uh, imposing impressions upon other people, right? Strengthening your personality to where you're giving out impressions and people are moving based upon your impressions, right? This is the masculine principle. Now, you need to look at your life and look at what's going on. There's a direct correlation with the softness and the weakness of society because the, the more a person has whichever news channel you want, CNN, Fox News, MSNBC, the more they have that plan, the more they're receiving stimuli, right? The more they're feminine, the more they're uh, engaging in their feminine principle. They're being acted upon. Yo, do this. Yo, do that. Yo, do this right here. Do this. Check this out. Look at that. Look what happened over there. And then you sitting there. <laughs> the trick box tell lie vision, because it tells lies to your vision, tell lie vision is incessantly, perpetually, and with repetition, giving out stimuli. It's acting, it's using the masculine gender. It's using the masculine principle. And the longer you sit there, the more feminine you get. An unbusy mind is a devil's play shop. If I'm busy, I ain't got time to sit around. Y'all got to hit the like button, man. Y'all got to put me on 30, man. Damn, man. Y'all got to put me on 30, man. Damn. Damn, man. Damn. Be fronting on a nigga, man. Damn. Unbusy mind is a devil's play shop. The more you sit around and watch low vibrational YouTube content, that's the stimuli you're receiving. You will begin to shape your world based on that. You got to be careful of the, of the seeds that you allow to take root in your dome. You got to be careful of the seeds you allow to take root in your dome. That's why I be alone. I don't be lonely. I just be alone. I don't be lonely. I just be alone. I can better manage my psychology. I can better manage my mental health with the less stimuli that I have or if I can control the stimuli that I, that I allow to come into my circle. An unbusy mind is the devil's play shop. You ain't got nothing to do. You sitting around. You ain't got no plan. You ain't got no agenda. You just ain't shit. All right, so let me smoke some weed. Let me get drunk in the middle of the day. Let me get high. I smoke this joint. Nine o'clock, 10 o'clock in the morning, you smoking weed. Let, by 11.30, 1 o'clock, you smoking another joint. Four o'clock that afternoon, you getting high again. Unbusy mind is the devil's play shop. You ain't got nothing done. You ain't got nothing done. You ain't got nothing done. You done sat around and let a rap nigga, a corny ass rapper, get on TV and smoke weed. And because you like his music and you influenced by the glitter of his life, you think you need to do that 
in order to achieve what he got. But you don't know what kind of moral man he is. You don't know what kind of principles he got. You've just been influenced by what you see. You see the curtain, but you ain't peep behind the curtain. You ain't look behind the curtain. You got to check them teeth. You got to check them teeth. You know what I mean when I say you got to check them teeth? You know what I mean when I say you got to check them teeth? The three initiates, the Kabbalion, Hermes Trismegistus. That's what the name the Greeks gave him. But before the Greeks, the Egyptians, he was the god Thoth. He was the master of masters, the thrice great. In Egypt, on the continent of Africa, the three initiates. You know what I mean when I say you got to check them teeth? When you go buy a horse, when horse trainers and people that race horses, people that breed horses, championship grade horses, you know the first thing they check? They check the horse's teeth. Somebody tell me why. Why do they check the horse's teeth first? You got to check them teeth. You look in his mouth, you check his teeth. If his teeth look good, you know what that mean? He's able to eat. So if he's able to eat, he's properly fed and he's, 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 he's got all the nutrition he needs, all the nutrients. If his teeth ain't right, he ain't eating good. So he ain't, he ain't strong. So you don't buy him because his teeth fucked up. You buy the horse with the good teeth. And you need to start selecting your women that way. And ladies in here, you need to be start selecting your men that way. Check his teeth. Not in the literal sense, right? But you know what I mean. Don't be, because she come to pick you up in a Benz truck or he come to pick you up in a Jaguar truck, you know, and, and, and he got on a diamond watch and a gold chain and, you know, he's spending all his money that could just be for that night. But check his teeth. Check his teeth. Sit back, close your mouth, and listen to his mind. What is he talking about? What is he saying? What is she saying? She come out, she got this expensive Michael Kors bag, Birkin bag, whatever, David Yerman chain, you know, red bottom shoes, all that. Okay, I see that. But that shit don't mean a motherfucking thing to me. I'm finna sit back. I'm gonna ask you a couple questions, right? I'm gonna interview you. And I wanna listen to your mind. That's gonna tell me everything, whether I'm gonna let you in my circle or not. An unbusy mind is the devil's play shop. You sitting around doing nothing. That's why you depressed. You sitting around doing nothing. That's why you sad. You sitting around doing nothing. That's why you sad and depressed. And now your self-esteem low. You got an unbusy mind. The devil in your mind playing. He playing, man. The devil getting down in your mind. He playing Monopoly. He playing goddamn spades. He playing uh, dominoes. He playing chess up there in your mind, right? You depressed. You sad. Now your self-esteem low. He up there playing. Now your confidence in the basement. Now you say, fuck it. Let me go ahead and get high. Let me quit. Weak motherfucker. You. You. Unbusy mind is the devil's play shop. Y'all know George Gumby? Who know George Gumby in here? Lawrence Thomas, I see you over there in Qatar. Who know George Gumby in here? 
Tell me in the chat if you know George Gumby, man. Hmm? Don't nobody know. Ain't nobody said they know her. Y'all don't know her. My Duke still a... Oh, uh, yeah. And I'm busy mind is the devil's play shop. Yeah, it is. Yes, it is. And unbusy mind is the devil's play shop. I said astigmatism in my soul. Hey, yo, man, this the podcast with soul. Mm-hmm. You always got to have you something to do. An unbusy mind is the devil's playhouse. No, she used to call it playhouse. An unbusy mind is the devil's playhouse. Yes, sir. You got to have something to do. See, I be moving. I be moving. I don't play. I don't play. See, niggas run their mouth. I run my business. Yeah. An unbusy mind is the devil's play shop, man. You too old to be acting like this, man. You too old to be acting like the way you acting, man. You you in your 20s, man. What you waiting for, man? Stop playing, man. Stop playing. You got no felonies. You, you could go get any job. You could get a post office job. You can get all the good jobs. UPS, you could become a fireman. You could goddamn FedEx. All them good. You ain't got no felony. And at the end of the day, you ain't shit. Because you ain't got no drive. Here, I had all the, all the obstacles in the world against me that I, that I put in front of me that I did. Yes, I did. I jerked me. I put myself in bad positions. Hmm? But still, I rise. Still, I thrive. You know why? Because I'm better than you. The devil can't come in my house. The devil came, knocked on my door. Yeah, yeah, what's, who is it? It's the devil, Sean. Yeah, what? What you want? Uh, I want to come up in your mind. I want to play some poker up in your mind, and I want to uh, some Texas No Limit hold them. Nigga, you can't get in my brain. You can't get... Go on down the street. Go on down the street in front of the bodega. Them nigga, go down there and play down there. Or go up there into them rich neighborhoods up there in the suburbs where the kids, the fathers and mothers and gave them everything. They ain't got no drive. Then took away all their heart. You can't come play here. All right, Sean, peace. Yeah, I know peace. Entrepreneurship. If you're not developing relationships with other entrepreneurs, you got to develop relationships. You got to cultivate the relationships. That's what entrepreneurship is all about. <laughs> that means you got to come out of that weak ass shit of being an introvert. Right, and scared of people, and scared of life, and scared of yourself, and scared to fail, and scared to lose, and scared to hurt, and scared to feel. You scared of every goddamn thing. That's why your business don't work. You got to develop relationships. You got to tell people what you do. How we going to know? How they going to know what you do if you don't tell them? You don't want nobody to support me, man. Don't, they don't... Have you have you uh, talked to anybody? Have you went and promoted your business? Nah, man, I just put up, you know what I'm saying? I got my social media. Get your weak ass out of here. You got to go to these entrepreneurship, whatever it is that you do. If, you, if you're in the real estate, if you're in the real estate, if real estate is your thing, you should have four to five mortgage brokers on speed dial on your phone.
if you're in the real estate, you should have two or three appraisers in your phone. If you do graphic design, you should have relationships with two or three print shops. You got to develop the relationships with people, man, and tell people what you do. Hit that like button. Y'all put me on 40 likes. Real entrepreneurs develop relationships. I'm probably the greatest entrepreneur ever. Ever. <laughs> Don't look at where I'm at and how much money I got right now. Look at from where I came. Hmm? Look at from where I came. I came from the shoe. I was in the shoe in Morgantown, Federal Correctional Institution. You know what the shoe is? S-H-U, shoe, segregated housing unit. That's a jail inside of a jail. That's a prison inside of a prison. To right here, standing in front of you, sitting in front of you, looking good. Look at how good I look. I'm going to get my beard shaped up too later. Yes, message. Sometimes I feel that way, but I still go out and try shit. If it work, it work. At least I put in the effort, and eventually I got better. <laughs> Shout out the yes message. I came from the shoe to right here from developing relationships, talking to people, telling people what I do. When I was cleaning windows, I developed relationships with other window cleaners. Sean, I'm going out of town. I'm going on, out of town on vacation for a week. Can you cover my route for me? You can keep all the money from my route. Just go service my route for the next week. He give me a list of all his clients. I go serve, you know what I'm saying? I go service all his clients while he was away. I, then I call him eight months later. Hey man, listen, I'm going out of town. Can you knock out these six clients for me while I'm gone? Developing relationships. Yes, message. Sometimes I feel that way, but I still go out and try shit. If it work, it work. At least I put in the effort and eventually I got better. That's the attitude. You got to go out and try. You got to go out and try. Don't nothing beat a try but a fail. A fail is better than a try because a fail, you know that you had, the try was already done. Right? And now that you fail, you done got some information. Now you closer, at least you know one way that it don't work. Now you closer to finding out the way that it do work. Hit that like button. Put me on 40, man. It's 37 ain't good enough. It's 44 y'all in here. How, 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 how y'all going, how I'm light, how I'm light on the likes, how I'm light, how I'm light. Yvette, you know, in the shoe. The jail inside of a jail, the prison inside of a prison. Goddamn shoe, I was in the shoe. The shoe was nine feet long, six feet wide maybe. With a dim light up there, a dim light. And the one I was in didn't even have no window. I ain't even have no window. I was only in there for about an hour, about two hours. Real entrepreneurs develop relationships. Real entrepreneur, entrepreneurs don't let the devil get up in their mind. They, they, you know what I'm saying? Their mind ain't never unbusy. They constantly busy. You meet an entrepreneur on Monday, he may be small potatoes. He may be small potatoes when you meet him on Monday. Seven weeks from now, you see him again on a Tuesday, he done blew up. He done blew up. 
And if you de- developed and cultivated that relationship with him when he was small, when he blow up, you got his number in your phone. You can get him on the phone. I got a lot of people's number in this phone. I got a lot of people's number in this phone. I talked to Freeway Ricky Ross last night, and I talked to Wallow267 this morning. They numbers is in this phone. That ain't... That ain't this kind of money, right? But having their numbers in my phone is better money. Better. Because I develop and I cultivate relationships with people that do what I do. That means something. Engage with people. Talk to people. I ain't texting you. I ain't texting you. I ain't texting you. I'm FaceTiming you. I want to look at your body language. I want to see if you can look me in the eye and the camera. I want to see all that. I really want to meet with you personally so I can really examine your body language and really understand what it is. I'm not texting you. Texting, a text don't have no emotion. A text don't have no context. Not for me. But I'm old school, nigga, man. I look good, too. Yes, I do. I see me every day. I'm old school, nigga. I want to get up on you. Hmm? I want to give you dap. I want to watch and see if you can look me back in the eye while I'm looking you. I'm, I want to look for any signs of weakness. I can't get that from a text. I can't get that from an email. I want to engage with the human being. Somebody say something on a text and they put LOL, laugh out loud. What, what the fuck that mean? What Did you mean it? Did you not mean it? Did, were you laughing? Were you, what, what, how did you, in the way you meant it, I may misinterpret it. I may misinterpret it. I said astigmatism in my soul. Call me. Talk to me. Let me hear your voice. I can get a little more from talking to you than I can get from a text. Then after I talk to you on the phone, hey, listen, check this out. I'm going to FaceTime you in about 40 minutes, man. Then I want to FaceTime you. Let me turn it up a notch. Now I want to look grill to grill. Cool. Check it out. Next week, let's get together me. Let's go get some coffee, man. Then we go, we get the coffee. Relationship is established. Relationship is established. Yeah. Relationship is established. You got my number in your phone. I got your number in my phone. We entrepreneurs. I don't know who you might meet. You may meet somebody that ask you if you could do what I do. And you say, well, nah, I can't do it. But I know my man, Sean, he could do that. Let me give you his number. You put me on. I may be somewhere and say, well, listen, man, you, uh, you do web design? I said, nah, I don't do no web design, but I got my man. I was with him yesterday. We had some coffee. He, that's what he do. Well, give me his number, Sean. Here go. Matter of fact, I'm going to call him right now while I, while I got you here. Let me call him on the phone. Do, 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 do. I'm going to FaceTime him. Hey, yo, yo, man, I got my man here. Here, take the phone. Weak ass niggas, scared of people. Y'all going through life, scared of people on on, on anxiety medication and all this shit that you create in these these uh, imaginary situations on your own. You got to engage. I ain't got your number, Colombiana. No, I don't. You ain't never email me. Fat Daddy Trucker, what's up, man?
Forty six likes in the building. We 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 moving here. Get up and do something, man. Stop running your mouth and telling everybody what you finna do. Oh, I'm gonna do this. You you know what's the big one now? Now we in December. Yo, yo, January 1st, man, for the new year, man. My new year resolution, man. My, you know what I'm saying? For the new year, I'm finna do this, I'm finna do that come January 1st. <laughs> man, as soon as the new year get here, man, I'm gonna lose weight. I'm gonna change my diet. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> man, as soon as the new year, when 2022 get here, man, I'm getting out of this relationship. <laughs> yo, when January, when January get here, man, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna leave this job. I'm gonna start my new business. <laughs> Fuck out of here with that shit. Yeah. Uh. Yo, what's up? Stigmatism, man. What's up? Hey, yo, ma. What they doing? You see, niggas, see what niggas do? See, niggas run their mouth. I run my business. Yeah. Hey, yo, Ma, what you doing? Minding my business and leaving yours alone? Yeah. Uh. I don't care what you do. What you doing and what's all that, man? I ain't got no time for that, man. I don't know, man. Yasa Khan, thank you, man. Shout out to Yasa Khan, United Kingdom in the building, man. The $5 British pound, man. Thank you, man. What your business is, man, that what does that benefit me, man? I ain't got no time for that, man. I don't, you know, people be asking me, yo, Sean, what you think about uh uh like whatever's the big thing in the news, you know, some rapper, what you think about 50 Cent? What you think about this is bad. I don't think not. I don't spend no time with that, man. What does that that don't benefit me at all? They didn't think about me, they don't think about me when I'm doing videos. They didn't think about me when I was standing up for the four o'clock count. They didn't think about me when I was standing in the commissary line in goddamn nine degree weather. I don't care nothing about what they doing. That is of no interest to me, man. You know, that's, that's, that's buffoonery to me, man. I'm not wasting no time on none of that, man. All of my mental energy, all of my mental capacity needs to be deliberately concentrated on little Sean and big Sean, me and him. That's it. That's it. Right? And all of my energy and all of my capacity needs to be concentrated like a laser beam so that I got a busy mind. All of my energy and all of my capacity needs to be centered on developing relationships. You've had, send me the email and stop playing with me, man. Don't do that. Send me the email and stop playing. I done told you twice already. All of my energy needs to be centered upon that. Because I ain't got no time to play with y'all. I ain't got no time to play with y'all. I'm 52. And I look good as a motherfucker too. You see it. You see it. But see, time is of the essence with me. I'm finna make this million dollars back, man, guaranteed. Right? What do I care about Cardi B or uh, 50 Cent or goddamn... Tupac or Biggie, what, 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 the, man, I don't got, I ain't got no time for that. I ain't got no time for that. They don't come to Trader Joe's with me and help me put food in my cart. They don't come to Whole Foods with me and come to the cash register and pay for the food that I got. They don't do none of that. I don't care about none of that. Unbusy mind is a devil's play shop. You sitting there on YouTube just watching buffoonery, man. Kids fighting in, in malls. Just. Come on, man.
Sean, I'm going to call you. I text you yesterday. Now I know you didn't respond. Who, who are you, man? Who are you? Don't come on here telling me what you did. You don't, 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 don't do that. I don't know you. You got to, Dave, what, what is that, man? Don't do that. What did you text me about? What did you text me about? Fat Daddy Trucker, what's up, man? You finna make a comeback, man. You got to come back, baby. You got to come back. Let that past go. You come back. Unbusy mind is a devil's play shop, man. Look at yourself. Look at your life. And ask yourself, where could you be doing better? How could you be doing better? What can you do to improve your life? Get out here and compete. Get out here and compete. Get out here and compete. Get out here and compete, man. And stake your claim. Peace, Yvette. Okay, Davey, I did get your text. I don't respond to everybody's text, Dave. I get a thousand texts a day, man. Appreciate you, man. Get out here and compete, man. Get up. Put your plan together. And get out here and compete. You know, it's possible. Sinaloa Banks, what up, man? What else going on, y'all? Somebody talk to me. Talk to me. Yeah, you got to let go of the past, man. That's a losing proposition. That's a losing proposition to be stuck in the past. Living in the past. You waste a lot of time. Waste a lot of time. You got to get out here, man. You got to make it happen. Opportunity is everywhere. Opportunity is everywhere. Guard your mind. Clean up your soul. Clean up your heart. You know, if somebody did you wrong... Don't let it go. Don't never forget it. And maybe you don't even forgive them. Check me out. Somebody did you wrong. Somebody did you dirty. Somebody did you dirty. You don't forget it. You don't forgive them. Right? But you have to move on from it. Check me out. Check me out. I ain't playing with y'all. Nigga got that motherfucking fed look. Don't you, don't check all that forgive and forget. Nah, never that. Homeboy, I can't forget what you did to me. Nah. And you not gonna forget what I did to you. Don't fool me. Fool him, devil. Fool him, devil. I'll never forget what you did to me. I'll never forget. And I'll never forgive you for it. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean up my soul and my spirit and I'm gonna move on from it. 
where I go wrong is you do me wrong, I don't forgive, I don't forget, and I stay stuck in it. No good, no good, no good. No good. Then you lose. Farrell Ramsey's man, thank you for that super chat, man. Thank you for that super chat, man. Appreciate you. Arizona in the building. Don't even front on yourself like that and say, oh, I'm a forgive and forget. No, you ain't. No, you ain't. People that did you wrong in your childhood, people that did you wrong in your teen years, people that did you wrong at any point in your life, you don't never forget it, but you have to move on from it. You can't let it chain you down. You can't let it uh, just hold you back. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Right? You learn from it. This is my opinion. You don't have to agree. You don't have to disagree. Whatever you want. But you can't, you can't live in the past. You got to let it go if you want to live. Yes, indeed. I see you, Dave. You working out in the park? I see you. Don't get scared of the times that we live in either. There's a lot of change going on. There's a lot of change going on. Don't get scared of the times we're living in. Adapt. Good generals are able to adapt. That's what it talks about in the art of war. Good generals are able to adapt to current situations and circumstances, to the terrain. My man Kadir with the $9 British pound. Kadir, thank you for that super chat. I'm off, Mr. Gumby. Get some White Castle on me. Watch the change. Uh Aha, you a monster. Keep pushing. Kadir, thank you, man. Thank you for that super chat. Good generals are able to adapt to the terrain. Good generals are able to adapt to the formation of the other army. So, yeah, things have changed. This whole world has changed. And I think wishing for it to go back to what it used to be is futile because it ain't, it can't, right? Because some events have taken place that are never going to allow it to go back to what it once was. But what we do is we learn to adapt to the current environment and you can still prosper, you can still succeed. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. You know, we got to keep moving. We got to keep moving no matter what. That's right, Miguel Diaz. I was standing in, um, I was standing in, um, in line, me and this dude from Pittsburgh. This was when I was in the joint. We was waiting to go in and eat lunch. And uh, we was talking. He was getting ready to get out. I was getting ready to get out. And, you know, we were sitting there talking. He said, Sean, he said, man, nothing, nothing from my past is welcome in my future. And that shit was so profound to me. It just hit me in my stomach, man. And I looked at it and I said, you know what? That's not a bad philosophy. And it talked about that in... The book, The Monk Who Sold His Ferrari, it says something to the effect of, if you really wanted to get somewhere new, I had to cut everything off. If you, if you want to get somewhere new, you got to cut everything off that was once in your past if you want to go somewhere new. 
I wrote it down. Quadrex, what up, man? I see you. Yasa Khan, what up? You know, it's not an easy thing, but you know, we practice on it, we work on it, and we keep moving. You know what I'm saying? We work on it and we keep moving. Shout out to Kadir. Kadir, thank you for that super chat, my man. I don't think I'm going to get no White Castle with it. I had White Castle the other day, man. I, I do the White Castle thing like maybe once once a year, maybe. Yeah, I don't do that all the time. But y'all got to get out here, man, and make your life what you want it to be. Get out here and make it happen. You know? Shout out to everybody, man. I'm getting ready to head up to the park, man. We're going we're gonna to do some work. I'm going to go up and... Uh... Hey, Dave, man, thank you for that super chat, man. Appreciate you, man. I did get that text message from you, man. I got it. But I get a bunch of them every day, man. I get... Instagram, all that. I can't respond to everybody. Appreciate you. You know, we got to keep moving no matter what, man. But I'm getting ready to get up out of here, y'all. I got to, um, I'm going to shoot up here to the park, man, and uh, get my workout in. I'm going to go live on my big page when we get up to the park, to the calisthenics park. So... Thank everybody for coming through. Make sure you share this video. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Thank you if you've already subscribed. I appreciate you. And um, keep doing what you're doing. I come, I go live just about, well, it's always at 12 noon. And it's Monday through Friday. Sometimes I'll go live on a Saturday and Sunday, but mostly Monday through Friday at 12 noon. This is where we get down at. Um, if I'm feeling something, I'll go live. If I'm not feeling nothing, I won't go live, you know. So that's what we're doing, man. I'm going to get up out of here. I'll let y'all later. Peace, man. Yeah. Mm. So what's up? Stigmatism.